welcome back to some Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Uh, we've got, uh, we're going to take on the Explosive Evolution map. We have Xantok as the Void Warden, myself as the Red Guard, Zoe as the Demolitionist, and Dodds as the Hatchets. Um, and yeah, so, yeah. My battle suck. <laughs> I got rid of They the want top. me, the Void Warden, to kill the first enemy? <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking either of That's mine happening. Alright, so, got... uh. Oh. No, go on. I got rid of the one that was to, um, lose uh, a card to negate five damage. Mmm, I had that the last two scenarios. Alright, well, this could be an interesting one, so let's see what's gonna happen. You arrive at the scene of the final tumor, but you are clearly too late. Twisted metal and charred wood greet you as you descend into the rubble. You dig through collapsed passageways until you finally find the tumor, but it has grown a hard outer shell. A chrysalis. A zealot appears behind you, laughing that Roland's plan has come to fruition. And then the chrysalis explodes as some new horror emerges. It is no longer an inanimate thing, but some monstrous collection of limbs and teeth that moves with vicious efficiency. Special rules. The blood horror cannot be damaged in any way until all zealots in the scenario have been killed. Anytime a zealot is killed, leave its stand in the hex in which it died. Any hex containing a stand is considered neither empty nor occupied. When the Blood Horror revives a Zealot through the use of one of its specials, remove the killed Zealot stand from the map and spawn one living corpse of the same rank as that stand in the hex in which the Zealot died. This living corpse does not act in the round that is spawned. Note that all living corpses do not have to be killed in order to damage the Blood Horror. Boss Special 1. The Blood Horror performs a Move X Jump action, where X is the number of hexes needed for the Blood Horror to get adjacent to the killed Zealot farthest away from it. Basically, it teleports to the farthest dead Zealot away. The Blood Horror will then revive that Zealot. If there are no killed Zealots on the map, or there are no valid hexes adjacent to any killed Zealots, then X will instead become the number of spaces needed for the Blood Horror to get adjacent to the enemy farthest away from it. In which case, the Blood Horde then performs an attack plus zero action targeting that enemy. Close Special 2. The Blood Horde performs a normal move zero attack zero action. Then, if there are any dead zealots in the same room as the Blood Horror, it revives them. Door hexes are not considered to be in any room. Oh. So if something dies in a room tile, that they'll never be affected by that ability. Interesting. But but, uh, in a door, door tile, yes. Yeah. No, we can still go to the door. Oh, his attack oh. is the number of characters? So he does four? Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Also, change the music. Oh, yeah, I'm on it. It's literally your job. Yeah. Hmm. Stop giving other people jobs and I do guess yours. This kind of be undead combat. Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, well, everybody has played some cards. So, uh, hey, Zoe, what's your job? I'm already doing it. Flip arm! That's right. I love how you give the person with Australian lag this job. Don't don't blame the lag. That's just not cool. Hatchet, you're first. Cool. Alright, I'm going to move one, two, and push the zealot through both of those traps. At the end. Do you want me to do the other one? No, I mean, um, look at my cards. I can still do this. And you'll still have this one to do stuff to. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to move oh, one of them still into the other trap. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyways, uh, pushing through those traps. Uh... That's Wait, if you push it through those traps, and I can't push the other one into a, into a trap. Unfortunately, I don't really have much of a choice in this matter. No, actually, wait, wait. Uh, no, I can still do this. Uh, I'll push this one this way. And then 
So he'll suffer however much damage he's going to be suffering there. Four. Four. And then I'm going to use my mana potion to immediately pick up wind and immediately use it on stopping power. Push this one with my attack. Oh, I need to reset. Yeah, should probably check ours. That is really unfortunate. Cool. Well, uh, that's a whiff. He's still suffering four. Play right. Warden. Okay. Make sure there's still one, two, three. Okay, so that one's not in range now. Uh, unless. No. All right, so close, boss room close to the abyss. Um, I'm going to be moving the one on the right. He's going to get moved into the center trap, taking okay. another four damage. And then. That's not worth it to do. So I'm not going to use Resign Frenzy. I'm going to end it there. I'm not going to lose a card just for that. Demo. I am going to use... Wait, let me double check this. I'm going to use the top of fire bombs to attack to range for target to create fire. fire. Uh, I will attack the healthy one and then the weaker, the lessy healthy one first. Well, no, healthy, then least healthy. Three, then four. Survey says a boop. Ooh. Plus two, so four damage. And then a boop. Oop, I, I clicked it. There we go. Plus one, so three damage. He's dead. Yay. So, gonna put him like that so that we know for sure. Maybe I won't. <laughs> well, I the the we'll just, we'll we'll just have him with the zero health. We'll have it there. And then I can... What is the boss boy doing? I don't want to get hit by him. Move minus one, attack minus one. Target. He's doing a range attack on two people. One, two, three. What's that boy doing? Nothing special. That's his turn. All right, Zealot. Nothing special. Ah. Uh, how much movement do they have? They have three. Okay. So one, two, and they are going to hit Hatchet. That is going to be three damage and a wound. All right, and then the boss. Yeah. The boss. The ball's going to be hitting Red Guard and me. I th yeah. I'm assuming it has range three. Really it does. He does not have to move. No. Going to hit you first. That is going to be four damage. Um, yeah. And that should they're not not, they should not have curses yet, so remove that. Uh, three on me. All right, red guard. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna kick on my jumping winged shoes to add uh, jump to my ability here, and I'm gonna move four. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and open the door for four. Hello. Oh man, there's more zealots. Yeah, there are. <laughs> Um, and then, 
Uh, so that card. Oh, and immobilize uh, all adjacent enemies, which there are none that are currently alive. So that's... never mind. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to attack... Uh, you know, I'm going to attack uh, Zealot 6 here, the one straight south of me, for a base of 2, because this attack I can target someone 2 hexes away. Uh, I'm just going to do that real fast. <laughs> Uh, four damage. Wow, that was a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, he's going to be disarmed. Dark and ice are created. Thank you, Zoe. Uh, and then before I end my turn, um, God, those traps there in front of that other door, I don't want them or that zealot there anymore. So I'm going to use my compass and make him take two steps to the south and die. Hell yeah. No more traps. No more traps. No more traps. Um, and then uh, once I do end my turn, uh, uh who, who cares about oh, Zelda? There away. we go. On the internet, he's in here. He's in my hand. Maybe you shouldn't pick things up. Uh, Wait a second. No drop. I end my no turn, drop. so this zealot does get to go, and all he's going to do is I think step forward, right? Uh, yeah, because you said he's disarmed? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's it for me and the Zealots. And the round, I think. And the round. Play some cards. Okay, ladies and gents. That went pretty well. That went pretty well. Now I'm going to deal with this guy. I think I'm going to deal with the guy in front of me more than anything. Um... Hey, Jamer! With the resub, 46 months. How's it going, buddy? Um, I should be able to deal with the uh, zealot that's here. So. Let's see here. Um, chilling, lurking while doing stuff. That's fair. I understand. I get it. Um, let's see here. I could move three. I don't hate that idea. Um, I want to be able to kill this guy though. Oh, I can attack and immobilize him. That might be a good good call here. Shield pull. I don't need to pull. No, I don't need that. I don't need that either. I could activate stuff. I kind of want to get some stuff activated, but it's not currently Yours. worth yeah. it. Let's go with... Okay. I'm a shocking, shocking advance. Why is my phone going off? And then oh. I'm also going to... That. <sighs> I probably should keep the heels. Um, just move four. No, I want that card too. I could just do base movement. Alright. I guess I'm gonna forego my healing card. I don't like that idea. Move to shield. Um, is that a jump? That is a jump. It's the same distance though. Uh, I would, I would like to get flame shard active, but it's not gonna Did we kick up elements that round? Yeah, I usually when uh, I did we not hit round, end round. When, on usually them. when we start the round, I hit end round and they drop down. No, I just I wasn't sure if we had actually created them or if that yeah. was yeah. from last scenario. Okay. I created fire and then Mike created ice and dark. I created wind, but used it immediately. All right, flip them. Oh boy. That. You know what? This is okay. All right, Red Guard, you're first. You're gonna I have a friend coming up. First, uh, I'm going to attack this normal right next to me with a base of three with shocking advance. Uh, three damage, so there's just enough. He is dead. Um, there is no light. Nope. That's fine. And then I'm going to move four to get kind of one, two, three. 
Um, do we want to open the door or not take one more round? Um, oh, we're still kind of getting in here. Okay. Also, yeah. he's, also he's, he's going to warp be, to he's that. He's going to teleport in there. Oh, yeah. is he? Is he going to attack me? Yeah. He got special. No, he's not attacking you. He's, he's uh, reviving. Well, he, he will jump to the farthest character oh, and one. attack one. Yeah. So he's yeah. going to go so, to this guy. This guy yep. by me. Yep, and yep. he'll attack me. So instead... No, he, no. No, he doesn't attack you. He only attacks on special one if he can't revive anybody. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then I will stay here. Um... And... Well, he's not going to be attacking. The living corpses won't attack, so I don't need to waste the fire. Alright, I think that's going to be it for me, and I'm going to run to the bathroom. Fair enough. Catch it! Okay, um... I suffer the wound. I'm just going to use my eagle eye goggles here just for guaranteeing that this guy dies. Are you freaking kidding me? Zero damage? Ah, two damage. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's the freaking problem. One, two, three. I would have been able to get into this room as well. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that's the Zealot's turn then. What is he doing? Uh, minus one on his attack. Okay. On me. Is he next to anybody? Yes, he is. Plus zero. So this will be two damage and a wound to you. Mike's not here to do his job. He's not here to do his job. Alright, I'm slowly getting there. Yeah. All right. So I can either make an attempt that sell its life, or I can put a poison on that blood horror so he'll have it for later. Uh. Yeah, might as well since he's already taken his turn. The uh, zealot that is, yeah. So. I don't know since what you're saying. So, like, it, since the zealot isn't a threat, we can just just get okay. the blood horror bar set up. All right, then blood horror is poisoned, according to Gift of the Void. I also refresh dark with this. Uh, there's no idea to it, but even if there were, they couldn't hurt him. It's fine. And then I am going to use. Oh, we should probably put the poison on him. There it is. Uh, then I'm going to use the dark on Grasp of the Doom, so I'm going to move five spaces. Oh, my spot. Oh, uh... That's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no I, no, I can go right here. I can go right there anyway. <laughs> I was just being smart. Me, 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 me. Hey, take your turn. Um, your, your, well... You know. I was going to um, set up my wind-up, but I guess I should try and kill this zealot instead, just so that way it doesn't go all the way back here. We need to kill all these to damage him. So I'll just basic hit him with a boom-boom. Um, and survey says it wants to wait. It's dead. Three damage to the zealot. And then I get to move three. Oh, I need to take my wound as well. And then go one, two, three. Boop. All right. And that brings us to the boss who's using special one to go. Wow. This zealot corpse is gone and replaced with a living corpse. And he'll act next round. Which, speaking of, hey, look. It's yeah. next round. End of the round. Play some cards. All right. Uh, I'm leaning toward, let's see. Uh, we cool if I go through the door? Uh, I'm cool with it. Um, you're not going to get any help from us, though. Or from me, at least. 
and all of those, yeah, you'll have three that decide to swarm on you, but if you are fine with that. Then maybe. We'll see. Alright, those are all gonna die. Uh, shield... Unless I can kick up fire, which I can't do. Okay. Attack three. Um, Keepy. No. Because I could move. I need to move one, two, three, and then attack all of them. I can't attack all of them. I can attack two of them. With all, I can target all adjacent enemies, or I sit here and heal. <laughs> but I'm right next to the, I'm right next to two enemies, and I don't like that. I mean, I'm gonna get lit Ooh, up though. I, could do. I have a very interesting question. Oh, I do have What's a up? Here as well. I don't think it'll ever play hear. into fruition, but. Let's say, for example, I play, like, I'm super far away from the tumor thingy, and I play knock out the support and kill the zealot furthest away from him, which negates all healing. Does that mean it negates his revive? Nope. No. Because it's I he's think not really healing. Is healing. If, if it was warded so that he, they heal from zero in the same unit, probably... But considering we're effectively what's happening is you're just adding a you're just spawning a living corpse on a dead on a dead corpse's body. So yeah. it's literally yeah, because it it's it specifically says it's spawning one living corpse of the same rank. God, I don't know what to do. No. Um No dice. I, I, I cool. get out of here. Uh, so I'm gonna attack all adjacent, and I think to do that I have to move three. Which does use my healing card, which could be a problem. But it is what it is. Screw it, we'll go with it. I'm the tank. Flip up. Get in there. Oh, boss is going fast, that's a problem. Oh, wrong card. Oh. He's arriving all. Alright. Boss is first, he's doing special two. So he's gonna be attacking Red Guard now. And reviving all of the cell. Mm-hmm. So that is three damage for the Red Guard. And this zealot it's turned it into a corpse. Alright, demo. Um, so I was gonna go help Mike and move into the room with him. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna kick up my weathered boots to add plus one to my movement, so I can move four with the bottom of Explosive Blitz, which is now a move four, and I'm gonna go one, two, three to open the door. And then... What are the zealots doing? Uh, oh, yes. Zealots are going to be doing calculated strike. Strong Jokes on them, it much. doesn't matter because I'm going to move four. And then on the bottom of the card, it says if open a, if you open the door during this movement, before stun and target all enemies within range three. And they are all within range three. Oh, of me. thank you so much. Wait, wait, wait. All enemies within range 3? All fine? enemies within oh. range 3. Even better. That, that means no, but no other enemies are acting this round. Ex the boss already went. Yeah, yeah cuz cool. I get one experience. If it will, there we go. And then that's a loss, but I that's forgot okay. About that card. That card's amazing. But I cannot attack anything. So that is all I can do for you. <laughs> Did you take your wound? And I will take my wound. And then I'm going to heal three to get rid of said wounds. With my healing potion. If the wound would get off my hand, because I'm not holding down my mouth. Sorry. There's anger. There is anger. Alright, uh, living corpses don't get a turn. They're stunned. Hatchet, you're up. 
Okay. It's just going to move. So I'm going to go a little further than this. Uh, I'm not going to be suffering the wound because I'm just going to heal it right back up. So I'm healing up one. Earth is going up. And then I'm going to shoot. No, I'm going to activate my favorite. That is it for my turn. Red guard. Uh, first, I'm going to use a healing potion on myself to heal three. Um, so let me do that first. Okay. And then I'm going to use the bottom of healing sands to move three. One, two, three. Go right here. And then I'm going to use twirling stabs uh, to target all adjacent enemies. Uh, so just the two. I'll do the normal, then the elite. So normal. Base of two. Miss. Elite. Uh, three damage and a wound. If I had nice. to give one wound, I was glad it was him. Alright. Um, and I believe that is it for me. Void Warden, you're up. I am. What did I pick? I picked these. Okay. Do I want to change my plan? No. I don't think that would be smart. Uh, I'm using Wicked Scratch to loot the coin out from under this corpse. I'm going to give Strengthen to Hatchet. And then I'm using Lure the Void to disarm uh, Living Corpse 5. So it's not going to do anything next round for us attack-wise. And I can also make it move. And I'm just going to put it there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, that's my turn. And that's the round. So, put some guards. Alright. Uh, now that I'm in here, that guy's already wounded, which is fantastic. Um, I could have all of them suffer a damage. Got mostly range stuff left, which is weird. Is fire up? Fire's not up. I could make it be up so I can attack both again. I like that idea. I'm gonna do oh, that. Oh, card, please, please, please. I'm gonna attack there both. I'm gonna do this, then Good the card. earth. Well, yeah, the other way around, but it's fine. That's the plan. So I'll kick up fire right away. So I'll damage them both, kick up fire, and then just hit them both. Hopefully deal enough damage to the elite that he dies on the wound or just flat out dies. Would be great. I don't think he'll flat out die. Actually, I don't know if I can kill him even with a crit. I don't think so. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta remember I have my armor as well. I might do that this round if these guys... Alright, Zoe. Flip them. Oh, Drain Life sounds awful. Mm -hmm. Redgar, you're first. Alright, um, I'm going to uh, use the bottom of Flaming Sickle to, uh, or for all adjacent enemies to suffer a damage. Looting one, which does nothing currently. And then it does kick up fire, which I'm going to immediately consume for Shield of the Desert, so I can attack both of my adjacent friends here with a base of three. I'll just do the normal, then the elite again. All right, uh, normal is uh, four damage, and he's wounded. And then for the elite friend is four damage. Uh, that is going to be it for me this round i believe yeah i, I don't have to, chain armor i don't have to declare right now right i can wait until i'm about to be attacked mm -hmm. okay all right i'm good demo my turn i'm 
going to use the bottom of crushing weight to move two and go one, two. And the guy in front of me, because he's next to a wall, suffers two. And then I'm going to use level, which is an attack three on the same ooh, no, I'll do a little elite, I guess, to try and kill him, so that way he doesn't heal from hitting mine. Yeah. Um, and survey says for a base of three, oh. six damage. He did. Oh, this guy. This guy. Oh, that one. Oh, I should have checked what the boss was doing. Okay, good. He's doing nothing special. Yeah, not a special, but nothing special. All right, zealots yeah. are doing. Ooh, they're doing a ranged hit, and then they're gonna heal up seven for their max. Okay, I'm just gonna have them take a step back. Oh, that's a oh no, that's a closed door. He cannot. So he's actually how much movement do they have? They have three. Go, so he go. can go one, two, and then three. Okay. Uh, uh, which one? That is five. Do I? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's going to hit you first. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, chain armor for this this round. Okay, oh, and what does that do? I got a shield. Okay, you have a shield. Okay. So counting the shield, the damage is going to be two. Then sadly he oh, heals, wait, a, he? wait a minute. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then he heals too. That loses his wound, that jerk. Yep. And then the other one. There's only going to be two damage. I have lost my battle roll. What? I lost my battle roll. I took below. What? I dropped below half. Uh. <clears throat> so two damage to demo. Oh. Damage to me. Oh, to demo. I thought it'd be me. Oh wait, wait. Oh no, the, I thought there was one on each of you. So never oh, mind. Oh, he never was mind. here and that was, back. That was so he was after Zoe, right? Uh, yeah, actually, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I did not fail my battle. <laughs> yeah, so it is two to demo. Too bad you shuffled it. <laughs> I did shuffle it. I'll just have to remember I have it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, and now it's the boss. Me. Who is doing nothing special? <clears throat> They're going to move to here and hit Hatchet. There's going to be three damage to Hatchet. And now it's the Hatchet's turn. Okay, moving one, two. I'm going to push this. Living corpse two away. She still has the freaking movement for this. Uh, I've got advantage on this uh, double throw that I'm doing. I'm going to go for. Oh, that one healed. Oh, I should go for the one that's next to me in the. Uh, in the zealot that's in the back. I'm going to go for the two zealots, starting with the normal. Uh, uh, starting with the regular shot. Four damage to the one next to me, and it's then dead. I'm applying, then I'm applying my favorite to the one in the back, and I have advantage. Glad I did that. It is six damage. So close. All right, living corpses. We are doing hasty assault. The one next to me is stunned, so he's doing nothing because he's already next to me. Uh, then the other one. Is hitting me. For three damage. Oh no. Void Warden is hurt. Uh, and on Void Warden's turn. We are using crushing coal. Actually, hang on. Let me let me take a look at this. Uh, not. I'm gonna start with actually freeze the soul. 
I'm going to attack. I'll attack the corpse number four, the one the one below me. Plus one, so that's going to be four damage, and it's poisoned. And I also get to heal an ally one. Uh, do any of you? None of you have that. Okay, so Hatchet, take a heal. How much you said? One. One. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to be using the bottom of Crushing Cold. I'm going to use my boots with it so I can move four spaces. And then I can use, uh, and then I can um, muddle one enemy within range three. Can I muddle the horror? No. No. Okay, no. so I guess I'll just muddle uh, the poisoned corpse. And that is my turn. That is the round. Play some cards. I don't want to be in this room anymore. I'm trying to get out of it. I'm gonna short rest. Yeah, this round I pretty much just trying to kill that guy is my only goal this round. Flip them. Red guard. All right. Uh, I'm going to um, I'm gonna use barbaric instincts. Give myself a shield. I'm going to pull. Uh, oh, could I pull that guy over to here? Yes. Okay, then Could I will. pull two. Yep. Oh, it's pull one. Oh, never mind. Uh, never mind. Switching the then order. No. Rewind that. Uh, actually, never mind. No, I will do that. I'm just gonna instead. I'm just gonna move to here. And then I will do that, pulling him, and all adjacent enemies suffer one damage. I don't even, I didn't want to have to roll, I just want him to die. I figured, why risk it, right? Alright, that's my turn. Alright, the boss is going to make me lose a card, but to make it official, uh, they're doing special two. So they're hurt. So they're hitting me with their crit. Uh, wow. So you know what? Hey, that's a great way to waste the crit, really, right. to think about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I guess I'll lose master influence. I guess. All right, uh, they can't revive anything because nothing is dead in that room, or at least there's no dead. Uh, you know. Demo. Uh, well, I'm just gonna move two. The one, two would be next to the door for next round. I'm gonna wait for you guys a bit. 
Alright, hatchet. Just going to... Oh, I'm not even range to shoot that thing, so... It's going to move one, two, three. Alright. And then I'm using Black Boon to move. One, two, and then uh, either Demo or Hatchet, you guys can move... Oh, I'm sorry, actually, it's any of you. If you want to move two, you can move two right now. Put my freaking axe back. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, we know you're there. I thought we couldn't stand there because it was neither technically... occupied nor empty. So... Oh, I actually... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't know, actually. When I read it. Let's see. This no, no, it says that it's not empty or occupied. Since oh. by not empty, that means like anything that says like, oh, empty hexes. Now, occupied okay. means you can go in that space. Okay. Right. So it's a summon technically wouldn't be able to get dropped on there. Okay. Right. Um, Otherwise, you would not be able to go step on any time that you kill an enemy and get their coin. You would never be able to do that. that. It's case, the same kind of deal. In that case, I will stand. Uh, it's one of you. Catch it already oh, took it. Oh, okay. I thought it was multiple. Never mind. No. Uh, and that is going to be the end of my turn. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, living corpse is. Neither of them are stunned or disarmed anymore. They have nothing special. They have one movement. He is no longer muddled. All right, in the round, play some cards. I'm short resting. Long resting. Yeah, I'll short resting. Do, actually, well, if we're all gonna be rest, yeah, like rest. doing a rest round. Actually, we'll you know what? Yeah, rest. I'm. I'm gonna long rest. Everybody, maybe? I'm long resting. I'm not. Flip them. <laughs> what is he? Oh my god, he can be wounded. Yes. Yeah, let me get rid of that card. You wouldn't be able to take any damage until, uh, until we kill all the zealots. But right. It's not a bad thing to have on him, though. What are they doing? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what card I'm going to lose for my long rest. <laughs> you all moved. Uh, whoever had you just moved on. I haven't figured right. out my own shit yet. All right, well, uh, I'm full healing. I don't know what the enemies are doing, so I'll do that myself. Special two, reviving all things in his... Uh... Perfect. Oh, no, he's moving. Shoot. Uh... We don't have any zealots in the right, but I need living corpses. Now, I uh, swear to God, am I about to get hit again? Yes. Son of a bitch! I don't have any. I'm going to lose two cards. Cool. Uh, that's that's more than I have for health. Boss then is done. He can't revive anything because he's in a doorway. And then Hatchet, you're up. I just full heal and I'm gonna move and heal the Void Warden for one. Thank you. Uh, living Corpses turns. I believe they're just moving one space. All Living Corpses move one space Kalota. And that's the uh, Void Warden Red Garden demo. You gain two health and you get to do your card stuff. I lost three cards this round. What the? I don't have a card in my. What? Uh, here goes Antok. For some reason, this was in my hand. 
Not sure how it got there, but it was in there. Oh. Okay. It was very odd. Alright, uh, end of the round. Everyone play some cards. I'm gonna shuffle the monster things because they need to be two of them need to be shuffled. Okay, let's see. I need to get in there. So one, two, two to get in the room. Five if I I can't do a five. Well actually I could do a five. Don't I remove six card? Right there. Um that does have disarm though, at a range two. I'd rather let's see. Four. I can get to there. Disarm the guy, or oh, he'd be a mobile. Oh, I got my boots back from short, long resting too. Let me chain. Um, I can move six. Let's see what six would get me. One, I swear two, to God, if boss two happens or special three, two happens four, again, five, six. I can get up to this guy. I'm going to go to Australia and throw Zoe out of a window. Why me? I didn't even. I don't control him. Don't look at yourself. It's unfortunate in the that it's you, but you'll just have to deal with it. Don't it? look at yourself in the mirror. I know what I look like. Thank you very much. I'm I don't thinking, know why that's I relevant. Get up in there. Cut! Stop blaming me and look oh, at yourself. Why that card then? Oh, I like that card. Why would it be blaming me? I like disarming. It's really good. Um, maybe instead of that, do I have what move four cards? Do I have? Oh, and these jump through. And a damage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can get to either of those guys. I guess and disarm them. Might be a good call. <sighs> With a four. Yeah. I think that's my play. Well, I probably should have sorted out my hand before I played Flip cards. Em. Oh well. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. All right. Red guard. I'm going in. All right. I'm moving four spaces. One, two to the door. Motherfucker. My bad. No, not not you. I tried yeah. going as fast as I could, and the boss is still before me, and it's still gonna fucking hit me. Oh, um, only one guy popped in. Is that right? It says we uh, have two it's... Days. Yeah, so we shouldn't. There's still a couple up here. Let's pop in. in the... I'm gonna it's put, not like he's gonna, gonna, gonna revive put... these. I'm gonna put this here just so we know for sure. Go ahead and move that one to this spot. So do we know they need to be turned uh, to normal. And then, because it's a normal, I'll put an invisible. There we go. Okay. And then normals have seven health? Seven, yeah. Yes. Okay, so it was two to get there. And then uh, I'm going to go one, two to get here. Actually, I Don't might change ahead. that. What? Don't go there? If you can go somewhere else, it would be I mean, appreciated. I can go attack this guy. That's fine. Thank also, you. I want to see what this is. Okay, lag. I was not carrying my guy. What is Zealot's doing? Zealots are range attack. Targeting two. So also, if we can get rid of fire, don't kick fire up. Uh, so uh, in that case, uh, I also immobilize all adjacent enemies. So this guy next to me is going to stay here. And then I'm going to attack him with Desert Knight for a base of two. He'll be disarmed. Uh, three damage to him. And it kicks up that and that. And I... Oh, right. I did long rest, so I do get my some of my stuff back. Okay, and that's going to be it for me, I believe. Demo. I am going to use my booties to add plus one to a single movement. 
And I'm going to use the bottom of knockout the support to move three and go one, two, three. And destroy that obstacle next to me to give myself strength and gain experience for doing that. And then I'm going to attack Mr. Zealot 3 with a base of 3 and survey... Oh, Earth is up actually, so I'm going to consume Earth to make it 4 and a muddle. Gain another experience. And survey says... Either a plus 0 and all adjacent enemies suffer damage or... A minus 1. So, plus 0, so it's 4 damage and then his buddy next to him suffers 1. Yay! That's his turn. Corpses are moving to. And they will muddle and immobilize if they can. I don't think they can get anywhere. One, Which they, can even they cannot. Two. In fact, this one can only get to here, and then this one, I guess, goes here. All right, cool. Hatchet. Okay, I'm just gonna move one, two, three. I'm gonna range for. Oh wait, shoot. Uh, how much movement are you doing? Four. Okay. All right, I'm gonna attack this zealot, and it's gonna ricochet onto the elite. So normal first. Two damage, of course, and then three. Allowed. Three damage to the elite. All right. Let's see how much the boss hits me for. Five. You don't want to know how much health I have? No. Oh. Five. I'm fucking done. All right, uh, zealots are going. There's four of them. What are they fucking doing? Range attacks, hitting two people each. Okay, well, their range is two, so let's see. This elite can only hit Zoe. It looks like none of them can hit more than one person, and the one in the back can't hit anybody. So two are going to hit Zoe, one at Spinach, and then one with the Spinach hit Red Guard. Uh, this guy is and it's gonna... by me. Oh, he's disarmed by you? Okay, yeah. then I'll take that away. We'll take his mobilize too. Crash those. Alright, so Zoe, you're just going to get hit twice. One of the second shot will be a will be dis uh, disadvantage. So that is going to be two damage and a muddle. And then one damage. All right, my turn. I'm using Commanding Presence to GTFO. I move four. And I'm going to get here, actually. Uh, I end up cursing myself, but who cares? And then one ally within range three may move three. So anybody that wants to move three right now can. Um, Thoughts, do you need to move? would be preferable to at least get further away but for right now i'm okay with being where i'm at because uh, it'll will stop the blood horror from smacking right between these two okay and then do i want to use this yet what's the branch on it Sure. I'm going to activate Commanding Presence. So at the start of my next five turn... Oh, wait, no, that's the card I used to move. Wrong one. Uh, turn off the lights. That's what I need to use. Uh, I'm going to attack... Wait, is this range three? It is. I'm going to hit the one that has one health. It's dead. Yay. Oh, okay. End the round. Can someone do me a favor? 
Mm. What? They don't like me. I've got strength and end metal, so you might as well just take them both away and I'll just hit it and even. Uh, well, technically, like, if they were to give you muddle or something, like, it wouldn't affect you for a bit. I guess we can just remember. Just for this round. Yeah, you just have them both, so. But they don't normally muddle unless it pops up on their card. Alright, so I'll just put it off to the side there for now. Shoot, now I forgot what I was doing. Dang it, Zoe. Pretty much my goal is just to do as much damage to these elites as I can. That's pretty much it. Nothing special. Yep. He's gonna warp. And he's he's gonna come to into us. the room with us. Is that the furthest corpse, though? That from him, I believe so. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Probably barely. Yeah, seven, seven and six. <laughs> nice. Although, actually, not quite, but. Yeah. All right. I mean, corpses first. Uh, they are not moving though, so they don't do shit. Demo. Oh, that's me. <laughs> you take a. Wound. I am going. I do do that. I'm going to stand right where this dead guy is. Um, I want to be there. Nailed it. That's where I want to be. Um, I am then going to destroy the obstacle next to me to gain experience and give myself bless. So, you are still blessed and muddled currently. Yeah, I'm still strengthened and muddled, so it's an even thing. Oh, and right. I have Bless now, too, in bless, my right. shuffle shuffles. Um, I'm then going to use the top of Robotic Enhancement to attack the Elite next to me and stun him. Nice. Um, and at an even scale, survey says... Ooh. Four damage. Nice. Four damage to which one? The elite. Oh, the Elite right here. Delete the hiding behind the tower. That's his turn. Question: When this guy gets revived, what's going to happen to me, Buck? Um, he'll get pushed. Off. Gets pushed. It'll end up being revived into space next to you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. I think it's me now. Uh, Red guard. Yeah, me. All right, I'm going to uh, attack both the elites here. I'm going to do the healthy one, then the injured one. Uh, both for a base of two. Just double check, make sure I don't have anything else. Nope. All right, uh, top guy is taking no damage. Other guy is taking one damage. The stun guy just takes one. That's a, that's a letdown. Um... Uh, and then I have, I'm going to use the bottom of Flaming Sickle. All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. Dang. I was really hoping to kill that guy. That's all right. Uh, that's it for me, sadly. 
Okay. Void Warden, me. I am going to be doing Crushing Cold. So I'm going to go... Hmm, where actually do... Where do I want to move with this? You know, I'll move here because you're always faster than me. That sounds good. And I'm <laughs> going to do... I'm going to muddle... Not him. I'm going to muddle the um, the normal down there. Yeah. And then I'm going to use Freeze the Soul to attack the Salita up here. I'm going to consume the ice so that he's also going to get muddled. And I'll be poisoning him as well. That is going to be four damage. And that is my turn. Catch it. Check what they're doing. I'm going to be doing a weaker attack, but poisoning. What? Two people. That look. One, two, three. Well, standing on. We'll be attacking this zealot with a basic attack. Lying aloud. One HP left. Unfortunate. Yeah. Zealots. There are three up. One is stunned. What are they doing? Ah, they're doing a cleave. Can they get into... Okay, so he's going to hit Red Garden Hatchet. That one does nothing. And this one will come here to hit me and Hatchet. That's unfortunate. They're all muddled. What? Both the yeah. people that are attacking you are muddled. Yeah. Starting with the Elite, uh, it's going to hit Red Guard first. Oh, Ooh, God. that is minus one. So that's going to be one damage to you. Yay. And it's going to um. be a miss on Hatchet. And then the other one is going to hit me first. That's going to be one damage to me. And two damage to Hatchet. Plus poison. Plus three to Hatchet. Hatchet. I have seen... Ah, yes. for the zealots it is which means it's the boss who's doing special one boss <laughs> I get a coin I mean technically you would have gotten that coin already uh, wrong, not, not wrong, zealot. wrong boy yep. what not a zealot, you need this boy yep. Oh, whoops. Oh, why does he not have HP for me? Because he's facing the wrong oh. direction. <laughs> Got really and congested seven. up here real fast. All right, and that's the round of play some cards. Okay, I got to figure out if there's a way I can just hurt both of these guys. Rest. Uh, none of my bottom actions I don't think do any damage oh mm, I could just do this to move through them and kill them I could go one two three four and then I could attack the mm. other guy I would that actually might work really yeah. well I think I'm gonna do that. If I go fast enough, I might be able just to full on kill here. Hopefully. Also, I gotta check my um, my draw pile. I do have to shuffle. I hate you, lag. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking. You don't know what? I'm gonna say something stupid. But it's gonna be my new theory. 14. 
I lag and hold on to things longer than I should because I'm in the future to you guys. <laughs> okay. Just flip them, Zoe. <laughs> It'll be done tomorrow. Oh. Oh, boss is warping out. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's going away. He's just, he's bouncing. Which is giving boss. us plenty of time to uh, clear out the, uh, rub, the rubble in here. Right, well, let's wait until back. Pew, pew, pew. Yep. And I'm starting. All right. Me starting. Okay, I'm going to use the bottom of blade dance to move four any enemies that i go through are going to take one point of damage um in that case i'm going to step one to kill this guy two three to kill this guy four to stay in here so both those guys have died and then i'm going to use my spear to attack an enemy that is two hexes away from me I'm going to attack the remaining Zealot with a base 3 immobilize. He's dead. He, The blood tumor is now able to be hit. Blood horror, but blood, all right. Yes, tumor man. Not a tumor. <laughs> I'm not a tumor. So we have a setup round or two. <laughs> well, we, we have until his turn to hit him. Right. Uh, so I believe uh, that was it for me, and I'm pretty proud of that round. It went exactly as I wanted it to. Let's go for once. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, demo. Demo. I forgot I was on mute. I'm going to... Um... Huh. Um, I want to attack him. Go do it. He's vulnerable. Take your wound. But I don't want to be hit by any. Oh, he's going to warp away, Zoe. Yeah, but this guy, I was going to... Oh. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. It's okay. Me. I am going to still stun the living corpse. Use the bottom of Piston Punch to stun the living corpse. And then I'm going to attack them both... It is a ranged attack, but it's okay. I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles to make it an even thing. So it's not a disadvantage. If I have to pick one person, it'll be against the blood tumor. But I don't think it is. It says entire attack. Um, fire goes back. Oh, someone already did that. I will go... Blood heart, then living corpse. And survey says for a base of two... Two damage to the blood horror. Three because of poison. And then against the living corpse. Three damage. Hell yeah. That is life. It found a way. Catch it. Okay, just basic moving to these two. And uh, close cuts. Start with the boss. Four damage because of poison and a crit. Oh wow, the uh, zombie's dead. Yay! Bye, zombie. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, I didn't expect them all to be dead this round. Uh, I'm going to then switch my strat. We're going to go for a Wicked Scratch. Hey, Hatchet. Make an attack of three. Four after poison. Shouldn't be five. You drive plus one. Yes. All right. Uh, that will kick up dark i get an experience thank thanks for giving me experience for me doing nothing uh i love it and do i want to move to actually yes i do i'm going to oh he's warping that's right doesn't fuck him oh, i'll move over here towards the chest anybody else want to move to and by anybody else i mean uh just red guard um 
Actually, I think it's anybody. I will place myself... Yeah. I think I'll center. So when he does come back, I can... Yeah, he's either got to spawn here or right. here when he comes back. Yeah. So I'll, uh... Yeah. I'll, uh, center myself then. All right. And then on the boss's turn, he, uh, whoop, over here. And this one is, we need to have it in the elite juice. There. All right, that's the round. Play some cards. All right. I have to short rest. I'm thinking I actually. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Oops. Forget about that. Remember next round. And. Oh, I could actually just heal. Actually, I might just do a heal. That's probably a better call than Flame Shroud. So let's, let's heal. Yeah, I really should have remembered to speak up about that card. Fuck! I'll go try to do Which one? Let's heal and then... My commanding presence, I could have had somebody else do another attack too before I just started my turn. And I'll give myself a shield, I guess. Is somebody going to be getting that chest then? Uh, I'm... Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. So we go slow. Uh, I only have two cards. Okay, let me make sure I play them in the right order. Yeah. Stop, drop, thank you. Second, the cards are being naughty. There we go. Flip them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So funny watching like how big the delay is of when I press like flip and then they flip. It's cool. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, um, catch it. All right, uh, moving and uh, removing and uh, healing one on uh, demo. So I want you bleeding out. Take got nothing that else. Wound. I've got friends to protect me. Red guard. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself. Four. I'll actually take that instead of getting rid of the poison. Um, and then, uh, I mean, not that I think it's going to matter. I'll move to, I guess I can, st I'll stand on this guy to get his coin. Gives me something to do. And I get myself a shield this round. Not that it changes much. That's it. All right, the boss is just going to really move three spaces because it can't get close to anybody to attack him. Demo. I am going to activate the top of windup on my next two attacks, add plus two, and then I'm going to just take two steps and go one two because then the boss will spawn most likely in the middle of those two guys that's his turn all right i'm gonna be moving to that chest gain 10 experience i'll take it nice Put it right under there. I'm just going to drop it now. Excellent. Uh, and then... Anybody with it? Yeah. Where the fuck is... He's up there here. you are. It's like, what the fuck? I can't <laughs> find him. Uh, either Hatchet or Demo can move to right now. Uh, do you need to move, Dodds? Because I would gladly get off of this spot. Not you. Oh, Not dang. you. You can't. You're too far away. I'm too drunk. It's a Demo or Hatchet. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. You're right here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that is going to be the end of my turn. That brings us to the corpses, which I believe, yes, they're not attacking. They're just going to move and they'll suffer damage. Yay. How many corpses do we have? Just these three? three. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So they're moving attrition. three spaces each. Just war of attrition them. All right, that's the round. Play some cards. Long rest. Again. Flip them. All oh, right, I still need to do that even though I long rested. Redguard. Oh, is he warping back? He is not. No, he's not. He's actually doing nothing. Oh, because he's in a doorway it's again. It's special too, and he's in a door. <laughs> yep. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, I did kind of play just in case. I'm gonna activate Flame Shroud. Um. And just have that ready to go. And I guess I can move two again. Uh, that's right, I'm on here. I'll go get this coin, I guess. And that will be my turn. All right, boss does nothing, because it's special to you. Hatch it. Uh, I'm just sitting here, because I don't want to burn cards on the corpses while we've got a uh, horror to kill. Yup. Uh, Void Warden. I'm going to strengthen, or uh, there's something loot. I'm going to strengthen Hatchet on the off chance he comes in here next round. And then that's all I do as well. Uh, I'm going to use my um, stamina potion though. Um, to get two cards. Uh, back. I was planning on doing a long rest. Okay, then it's strengthened to the demo. Yay! You're welcome. <laughs> That's the end of the round. I am. Cards? E... No, because living corpses. I was doing my potion. Uh, corpses are moving one. Actually, I guess he would move here. That's smarter. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's fine. We'll He's go. right there. Just deal mm -hmm, with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, end of the round. Play some cards. Uh, long rest. Resting. Just you and me. Yeah, I'm playing my card, and then I'm playing a card, and then if you have the, after this card drops out of my hand that I'm not holding my mouse on, we can flip. <laughs> what? Thank God he's coming in. Yay! <laughs> all right. It worked this first. Um. All right, Hatchet, you are now going to get strength for next round. Okay. Fucking deal with it. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. Yep. Uh, look at corpses! How much are they moving now? They're still gonna move one. They're, they're slowly, slowly, <laughs> he was slowly a, trying to get to us. He was almost a problem for me. Uh, now the boss is gonna warp in. He's going to go right here. Unless, Hello. Demo, you want me to put him somewhere else. No, he's fine there. And I he's guess fine. he'll do... Well, I guess think, I think it's fair to be the faster elite is what he'll do. That makes sense. And that corpse won't act this round. That's all the boss hey, does. Buddy. Demo, you are up. I 
am going to hit him with doesn't really matter so I guess no over is not up damn it I'm gonna hit him with just a base of three there's not a nope there's not damn a base of three with strengthen but plus two because of wind up so with a base of five and survey says I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles because I would have gotten them back from my have long to. rest. You don't have to. You don't. All oh, right. Have yeah, to. I'm strengthened. Okay, cool. Either zero or zero, so five damage. Where's and my that's, that's six at? with poison. Great. No longer strengthened. Nope, but you have your eagle eye goggles. I do. I need to flip them back over. All right, okay. and that is the round. I'm gonna Play some cards. I have the short rest. I'm gonna use my two heal to get rid of poison instead. And getting rid of that card. Alright. Now I gotta figure out what I wanna do here. So he's back in the room. Can we I... gotta attack him. Good, I can. I can get uh, to He him. can't be immobilized. Uh, he can be wounded. Let's see. What do I have for bottom actions? Um, I could give disadvantage. Uh... I swear to God, if he draws a special one. I could wound him if I pull him to me. Uh, he cannot be disarmed? Nope. Um, In the black hole. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, we can. Okay. That might make more sense to move that over by the graveyard, actually. Target one yeah. Within two hexes. Where is Target all what? adjacent enemies. I mean, that card's always... Put it right uh, here. I could move in closer. You don't accidentally put a, t a character token in there. I got rid of the other one that... You can pull it out. Do that. That's true, we can. It's not a deletion, it's a bag. Attack three. Oh, if I go quick enough, this could be great. Do I have my spear back? Um, oh, wait, I just long rested. Yes, I do. I do have that back. So I could attack him from here, uh, causing him to uh, do that. Now, if I have a fast card, like a 10 here, give me shield. That's not very good. I could just have a regular move. I mean, this card is pretty fast still. But I want to go fast so no one else can do anything. Else. Pow, 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 pow. Um, each on the tag, target has attacked this round. But if I do this first, I will kick up fire and light, thus making that better. Yep, we're doing that instead. We're going to try that. We'll try Lit. Oh. Oh. I don't. Hmm. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, he's reviving like everything. What? All right. Oh. In this room, at least. Okay, Red Guard, you're first. Good. Um. All right, I'm going to use Shield of the Desert to give myself Shield three this round. Uh, kicking up fire and light. Uh. So I have that this round. Um, and then I'm also going to uh, use my uh, iron spear that I just got back from long resting to attack the boss using, and I'm going to consume fire because I'm going to give him attack three and mobilize doesn't affect him. But each time the target is attacked this round, it suffers not one damage. It suffers two damage because I upped it. Um, Fuck yes. And then to signify this, I can place one of my tokens on there, but we'll just remember. Um, so I'm gonna attack him for. A, I'm gonna attack for a base of three right now. Three damage. Uh, wait, each time the target is attacked this round. So I don't think that counts. Yeah. So mind. after after your attack. Yeah. So three damage to him, from me. Four with poison. And yes. And now, yeah, he's got anyone else attacks him, you get two just damage hits him no matter what beautiful i'll leave the card there so we don't forget all right boss x he's gonna get rid of these two zealots he's gonna bring in two corpses 
An elite. And these are actually the last corpse because there's no more room. I need one. I need one. Unless uh, we kill a corpse. So don't. If we don't kill corpses, he can't teleport anymore. <laughs> Demo. Okay, I am going to use the bottom of Piston Punch to stun the elite living corpse next to me. So he doesn't attack me. He doesn't. He won't be attacking. No, he will because he was there last round. Oh, was he? Yep. Yes. That was the one that was there. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Then I am going to use the top of Crushing Might to attack three, four, five because of wind up, and I get an experience. And I gave it a step or two already. And I'm going to use my Eagle Eye Goggles because I can. So survey says either A plus one or. Here, so six damage to him. Seven with poison. Nice. That's All right. His turn. Void Warden, uh, I can finally use commanding presence. What ally within range three may perform an attack of two? Hey, Demo, you're within melee alert. Make an attack of two. Oh, that means it suffers another two? Uh -huh. Love it. Get and him. it takes three damage. Four, because Four with of poison. poison. Oh, wow. He is, t he is dropping. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna move two with Black Boon to get over here. If anybody else would like to move two, you can. Uh, I would love to if I'm within range. You are. Uh, just because I can get away from the guys that are gonna be charging into the room. Yeah, I figured you'd like to get within melee as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll go. Well, these two aren't attacking this round, right? These two. Nope. Correct. Okay, I'll go here. Okay. And then I'm now going to be using Ga Grasp of Doom. He's going to get wound. Uh, he's is he able to curse? He's going yes. to get cursed. I uh, put the curse in there. Thank you. Uh, ice and Dark both going up. Let's see what I draw. Plus one, so it's going to be four damage in total. He also suffers two, so there's his suffer. And after that, he's down to five health. That card is a loss. I am going to be exhausting in the near future if we don't kill him, but it's fine. Catch it. Okay, I've got advantage on this shot. Uh, there's no way he lives this. I'm hitting with power pitch, and uh, Axe is going in his uh, face as well. It's a yeah, plus two for a total of uh, 12 after poison. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Good. And Bye. two more because of my thing. Or, yeah. So he took 14. Uh, and hey, if you move, you can loot that, that coin off the course. Sure. There you go. I succeeded in my battle goal. I actually I, did. I did not. <laughs> when hey, I thought I, I, I had to kill a monster with disadvantage. Like, what the fuck were my battle goals? Uh, corpses. Oh, they won't reach anybody. Shoot. When I thought um, I lost it, but I actually hit Zoe instead. Yeah. I'm gonna move here. Oh, okay. That means you get, don't get this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. There's not really anything in the shop I want right now. Sure. All right. Well. Hold up. The horror's wait, tendrils. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Corpses what? still need to attack me. You got a battle oh. don't you? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. How many attacks do you need me to make against you? Just tell me I'm gonna um, draw. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Red Guard's going to get hit by this left one. Never mind. No, um, that one isn't attacking. These two aren't attacking. It's just here. these two. Um, uh, I just need one card drawn, unfortunately. I was hoping to get more, but... I drew nice. the wrong card of card. It's yes. a plus two. So that's yes. five damage. For... Okay, it's uh, five damage. No damage. Did you just complete your battle goal? I did just complete the battle goal. <laughs> that's amazing. Fucking God. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to read. <laughs> the horror's tendrils whip in a mad frenzy, as if trying to grasp the life that it quick, that is quickly leaving its grotesque form. As it bleeds out onto the stone floor, its movements grow more languid, until, with one final agonized screech, its terrible mass becomes still. Around it, the undead abominations it created also collapse to the ground, 
And with that, the thing is done. As far as you can tell, you have destroyed the awful creatures of blood that plagued the city, and in doing so, thwarted the vile group behind the disappearance of the blacksmith and so many others. You can finally stop dodging the widow's messages and update the city glow on everything you know. Roland seems to still be alive, but surely the guards can take it from here and mopping up this stupid cult. Now you can go back to actually getting paid to kill things. In fact, as you walk toward the sleeping lion, vaguely dreaming about a hot bath, you recall a recent rumor going around about someone along the hook coast offering gold to mercenaries who would come fight in his gauntlet. Ooh, that might be worth looking into. Rewards! 20 experience each! Add items 15 to 20 to the shop. And new location, the gauntlet. Ooh. Alright, here are your reward cards. Take a card, drag it onto your character profile, drop it on the little sheet. Sorry, Zoe. Didn't mean to grab it. And uh, if you have any coins or experience that you got, make sure to click those buttons. Wow, look at that. Level up. up. Level, level, level up. Me too. That's close. I also get a point. Me I too. Uh, I'm going to take that one, and I guess uh, we'll kill that one. Sure. Cards, please behave. Nah! Oh, this is our last cards before the level 5 cards. Doesn't that make you happy? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Oh, I hate everything in my life. I accidentally shuffled these. What did you shuffle? I I dragged out my Where my ability this? cards too quickly. And they got shuffled. Oh no. It's in the top where it is. Well, I'm taking extra fuel, Thanks which is um, an attack three, add plus two wound, and gain one D4. experience if the target is adjacent to the wall and create oh, fire D2. at the top. I guess and move five and consume up. fire to attack one at the bottom. And it's uh, 17 in speeds. I am getting rid of. Ooh, I get a perk. Um, I see what happened here. Some these got mixed up too. That's what confused me. I'm getting rid of implode for that card. My options are either Savage Instinct, which force one enemy within range three to perform an attack of three, targeting all other enemies adjacent to it. The attacking enemy suffers one damage for each enemy targeted. That's nuts. Uh, with heal three, rain three, strengthen, poison, and possibly blood, so if I can use ice on the bottom. Or last journey, attack four, range three, curse, pick up dark, with the bottom being move four, force one adjacent enemy to perform move three, with me controlling the action, they get immobilized. And. I don't like that bottom. I would like more opportunity to like do attacks. Because there's a lot of times where I just feel like I'm not doing anything. But uh, a heal on a bottom axe instead of having all my heals be on the top. I, I really like that. So I think I'm going to take a Savage Instinct. It's do your health too. Yes. Oh, do we got to do city yeah. event? Oh, uh, not yet. We haven't. Um, I need to. I've got over. I have a Overwatch uh, attack three range four. Wind is up plus one attack plus one range with experience. Or the bottom is next five times an enemy ends a move uh, ability within five of me. I can perform an attack two range five targeting that enemy. That's hmm. pretty good. Remember these cards.
Do we get a perk for gaining a level? I can't remember. Yes. Oh, yes, gaining you do. a perk. Going to add one plus two card. I think then. Uh, city, a city event. City event, yeah. Don't, don't end it yet. You decide to spend your evening slumming it at the Brown Door, a dive bar in the old docks. Sitting in the back of the room, you see an old man hunched over a set of glass beads. He cheerfully invites you to sit at his table, happy for the company. He pours some beads into his fist, placing the rest carefully into his breast pocket. Can't get so many beads I have in this hand here. Get it right, and I'll make it worth your while. It's tougher than it looks. He laughs at what you assume must have been a joke, but before you've had a chance to guess, a voice whispers into your ear. It's always three. When you turn to look, there's no one there. Option A. Guess the number from one to five. You must say the number aloud. Or option B. Go looking for the voice. Ah. Uh. Okay. I feel like if we do option A, you can win money. Possibly. Hmm. Now, if we pick A, do we each get to pick a different number? No, it's a collective choice. Dang it. Uh, I vote... I vote B. Yeah, B. Okay. You can hear the faintest whispering, like a dull roar of the performer on stage. You follow it outside down the street, and behind a warehouse. Crouched over a small globe are two acers who are startled as you walk up. Oh, sorry, you can hear that? The acer taps in the glass globe. Under his breath, he mumbles, Rotated the diamond too much. Then stops acknowledging you entirely. You walk away with more questions than before. Each character gains muddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. That was fun. We would have gotten 10 collective gold if we had said three. I'm okay with this result. Not worth it. <laughs> the voice is just funner. More fun. We all hit level no or not. No. Let me see if the uh, level has gone up. Um, and then we get to see a new, yeah, a new shop, which would be interesting. Ooh, yeah, it's right pod. here. Ooh. So we have the Amulet of Life, until your turn, perform a heal one self action. Comfortable shoes, and use the basic bottom action of an ability card, perform a move three instead of a move two. Battle axe, if a single target, uh, turn single target melee into a cleave. Oh. Black candle, during your range attack, add curse. Or stun powder. During your attack, add stun. Not I'm bad, saving not up bad. for this. I'm gonna save up for this. Which one are you saving up for, Dots? The oh, candle. So I'm doing range stuff. Right. I, I'm okay on all that. I mean, the headpiece would be okay, but it's just one. So it's like, yeah. It's the only thing I'm missing we is the headpiece. the glue. Uh, I had, no, I had one where every enemy you killed, you got, um, health. I didn't use the, I think you used the Amulet of Life before I did. I'm gonna buy the studded leather armor. Getting punched too much? Getting punched too you much. You got messed up that round. <laughs> I got lit the fuck up. Which is and, I mean, I kind of expected it because it was, just, well, it's because we had the boss behind us for the start of right. things. So yeah. I kind of expected that would happen because my movement... Compared to you guys is... Mm. Right, normally mm. it's me, because I'm going in farther, and then they're surrounding me. It just didn't happen that time. Yep. Yeah, because I saved you with this stunning the whole room. You did. That was pretty awesome. I love like, that card was my favorite of Demos card. <laughs> Door? <laughs> Not anymore. All right. Well, ladies and gents, uh, we got to pick a map. 
for next time. I mean, I'm fine with going to a gauntlet. That sounds fun. Yeah. We all have to pick up the shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah it's, we don't have a choice, sir. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's what I meant. <clears throat> all right. Well, in that case, we're taking on the gauntlet next time. And uh, we'll see you all later. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.